<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another reading of the Bible. We are in 2 Samuel 4. So let's begin. When Saul's son heard that Abner was dead, and Hebron, his hands were feeble, and all the Israelites were troubled. Saul's son had two men who were captains of bands. The name of the one was Ba'ana, and the name of the other Rech Rech Rechab. Uh, the sons of Reman, the Be'erotite. Be <clears throat> the children of Benjamin, Be Be'eroth, also was reckoned to Benjamin. The Be'erotites fled to Kitai Kit Kit and were soldier sojourners there until this day. Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son whose name... Who who was lame of his feet. He was five years old. Five years old when the tidings came of Saul and Jonathan out of Jezreel. Jezreel. And his nurse took him up and fled. And it came to pass that she made haste to flee that he fell and became lame. And his name was Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. The sons of Rimon, the Be'erotite, Be Rechab and Ba'ana, went and came about the heat of the day to the house of Ishbosheth, who lay on the bed at noon. They came tighter into the midst of the house as though they would have fetched wheat, and they smote him under the fifth rib, and Rechab and Ba'ana, his brother, escaped. But when they came into the house, he lay on his bed, in his bedchamber, and they smote him and slew him and beheaded him and took his head and gave him away through the plain at night or all night they brought the head of Ishbosheth into unto David the Heron and said to the king behold the, the head of Ishbosheth, the son of Saul thine enemy who sought thy, thy life and the Lord hath avenged my lord the king this day of Saul and of his seed David answered Rechab and Ba'ana his brother the sons of Rimon that be ever tight and said unto them, saying unto them, As the Lord liveth, who hath redeemed my soul out of all adversity. When one told me, saying, Behold, Saul is dead, thinking to have brought good tidings, I took hold of him and slew him in, in Ziklag, who taught that I would have given him a reward for his tidings. How much more when wicked men have slain a righteous person in his own house? upon his bed shall I not therefore now require his blood of your hand and take you away from the earth David commanded his young men and they slew them and cut off their hands and their feet and hung them up over the pool of Hebron but they took the head of Ishbosheth and buried it in the sepulchre of Abner in Hebron chapter 4